Hi there, Kawa here. So, it looks like we have a relatively interesting week of, of events uh, this cycle. Um, as we can see clearly at the top, we are getting uh, Gamma Riki, which is arguably the best summon in game um, once released. Uh, for those who can afford her, or him, he's a him actually, I'm sorry, uh, who can afford him, uh, you should totally pick him up because he is a high combo chase that reduces the enemy's resistance by 20% each time it chases. And it stacks. So if you're having trouble fighting against uh, tanky people, uh, this frog here will assist in shredding the resistance and upping your damage. Um, so yeah, right now, King of Hell, it's time to step down. Poison is no longer the best thing, seeing most things that you fight against are going to be immune. So, yeah, if you can afford Gamariki, I would suggest you pick him up this week, as this week we have Fukumaru uh, rebate, and I believe that the summon will be located in uh, one of the uh, coupon events. Uh, do not quote me on that, but I just believe so. So, the next thing we're going to talk about here is the group summon. We're getting uh, Katsuya now. Uh, Katsuya, I believe, is... It's not stronger than um, Gamabunta, but it's around there. Uh, for non-powerhouse servers where, you know, everyone's like 300k fighting each other, the summon actually matters, but when there's like a bunch of us 300k people fighting each other, the summon dies relatively in like 4 standards, 5 standards maybe. But yeah, uh, Katsuya is uh, interesting in the sense that she does have it in mobile. And uh, when you hit her, you get poisoned. So, uh, she's one of those units that... Well, not units. One of those summons that you're going to replace the snake with. Because the snake is weaker than her. So, you're going to be using uh, Gamma Punta and Katsuya from this point forward. Uh, she's going to be a pain for um, weaker groups to fight against. Because, as you already can see with Gamma Punta, it's just takes them about sometimes it takes them about two rounds to kill it and that lays down some serious damage on the um um yeah uh it's pretty exciting but uh for you know our my server which is server two this summon doesn't really affect us too much uh okay so as we can see there is no new ninjas this week but we have the recurring ones which is the Susano kakashi and uh naruto sage of six paths and Shisoi, eh, Shisoi is nothing amazing, we've seen him for so many times already, so he's nothing amazing, he's not a powerhouse ninja at all, I would not bother with him if you can avoid it, uh, I would say the same with Kakashi, Kakashi has very specific uses, if you're not aiming for those very specific uses, uh, there's no reason to go for him, uh, okay, so, moving on, uh, we have the Shinobi Feast, which is usually a decent time to recharge if you're planning to recharge. But, I don't know, it's not, it's been dropping in quality. Uh, it used to be a lot better where it, it gave a lot more coupons. But now it's full of more of um, these random items that, you know, I guess low, weaker people could use. But people like me, eh, it doesn't really do much for me. Um... You oh, well, I have to admit that it, it can't be that bad. Seeing I did get the 80 Conan frags last time from here, so uh, I can't say it's the worst, but it's all right. Uh, and it's gonna stack in with the anniversary envelopes down here, so you get two recharge rebates. But do notice that uh, the rebate here is on the eighth, so make sure you uh, don't recharge until the eighth. So that you can get both of the rebates. Uh, it's interesting here also that uh, it says Arena Training. It's giving skill books. I have... Well, I don't think anyone has a clue what skill books are giving. Uh, I'm going to assume it's going to be maybe Fu? If not Fu, I don't know who else recently came out with books that would be good to have. Uh, but it's free, so you might as well do it. Maybe we're lucky, though. Give us Maze, because her books are just like, ugh. <laughs> she, you have to get her so high level to get her frags, and you can't even buy them with the scrolls. So, 
Maybe it'll give us some May books? All right, moving forward. Uh, okay, we have the Lucky Star wheel. Uh, I personally don't hate the wheel. Uh, it used to be really bad. Like, it used to just not give you anything. But these days, it's been pretty generous. Um, it gives a lot of seal scrolls and uh, a lot of s stars. Usually, there is a uh, free power option lingering in here, uh, which is like the Miyaboku oil. But I have a feeling that Gamariki's in here. Uh, it's either Gamariki's in here, or the Naruto Sage of Six Pass in here. And then Kakashi, I think, is probably on the wheel, the recharge wheel. Or... Yeah, I think that's it, because I don't think that they're going to put Naruto as the grand prize on the recharge wheel. I feel like that's something they would do with Kakashi. But I could be totally wrong. Uh, maybe they'll put Conan in here again, because they do it every other week, so might as well, right? And, um, yeah, if you don't have Conan yet, it's still, it's a great week to pick her up if she shows up, seeing as it's a Fukumaru week, and you get rebates on your coupons. Uh, general mobilization. This event, it's a whatevs. Um, get a friend of yours, or like me, get two accounts, <laughs> and then have them give missions to your main account, and just do the uh, missions. I prefer usually just to do all the survival trial ones, or the uh, fight in the arena ones, I can just get it all done right away. Uh, I really believe that uh, Naruto or Gamariki is in here. It's going to probably have charms. And I want to say a battle armor is going to be in here. Like, obviously not a new one. It's going to be one of the old ones, but I feel like it's going to be in here because they usually do that. So, number seven here, we have recruitment feedback. Um, this is the one, I believe, where there's a time limit on your seal scrolls, so don't do this one. Wait till the other one where it has like a 500 cap but there is no time limit on your seal scrolls so you usually should save up for that one if you still haven't pulled all your uh, rares and your treasures yet okay uh, battle armor panic buy and I I would just never tell suggest anyone to just spend ingots on this because this has one of the lowest rate of returns uh, battle armor doesn't give any like, power compared to any of these other uh, options. Don't bother with it. Like, Just save your ingots. Uh, for the rebate though, I hope if you have not been leveling up your battle armor that you've been saving up all your threads it's because you're supposed to and do it on the rebate so that uh, it gives you more threads for the next level. It helps a lot. Uh, it usually puts you at least about, I want to say a third of the way to the next level. So yeah, if you've been storing up, great. If you haven't, then you probably should be storing up and only leveling up your battle armor during rebates. Seeing as there's no good uh, power gains for doing them one at a time. Because it gives like 10 BP each time you level it. You might as well just wait for it, the rebate, and then you know do it all at once. Uh, as for Fukumaru, seeing as we don't have a new ninja this week... I'm suspecting that they're giving us Shisui again in here. Um, I'm very indifferent about it. I guess it's nice for people who don't have him yet. They can get a free Shisui if they do the event. There's definitely going to be uh, gold essences at the end. Uh, whoever can do Fukumaru, just do the whole thing. Don't skimp out. Uh, it's a great rebate. It, you, you don't even have to. You're not even spending ingots. It's the greatest rebate for uh, free-to-play players. You just gotta make sure you hit the milestones. And recently, they've been putting ninjas in here, so yeah, make sure you save up for it every month. It shows up every single month around this time. Uh, you can just count it. Just count like this. Count four weeks from the last Fukumaru. It'll show up again. Uh, so, Faithful Choice, uh, this is the one where it's Minato and uh, Mask Man. Uh, I don't think anyone should be doing this event seriously, unless you really want that Minato, because Mask Man is not good anymore, so shouldn't be going hard for that. Um, for those who don't 
have Minato, I guess you could pick them up if you're missing a few frags, but I wouldn't go hard on it. If anything, you just do the free ones and pick up the advanced refines that show up in here. Uh, they cost relatively cheap, and you can get a good at least 10 of them. So, yeah, I would just do that. Uh, gold fishing event. I haven't seen this event in God knows how long. It's uh, relatively bad. <laughs> I just want to say, it, it, it used to be so bad, the cost... It would be like, oh, you need like 500 points to get like one frag of a ninja. It's like, it was terrible. <laughs> uh, the event was just so bad. I hope they fixed it and they reduced the prices. Because if they did, then maybe put some power options in it. It will be great. It, like, it's for, it's for free-to-play players. You can't be expecting people to, you know, pay so much into it. And, yeah, it's just one of those, just... Lower the prices. I, I just really hope it's lowered. Uh, the puzzle, we see it all the time. Nothing to talk about here. And yeah, that's it for the week. Uh, I'm just going to say that I'm going to get my uh, Renegon Sasuke tomorrow. So I already have a good amount of teams planned out for him. I want to say I have at least four off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to obviously showcase them tomorrow. So yeah, tune in tomorrow when I have him.